Hey everybody, it's Carmen and welcome back to my channel. Today is my November makes and a little bit of Friday sews. Stay tuned. I got two garments done. Um, so my goal is usually one garment a month, but I at least made my goal. Okay, so first up was a scrub top that I worked on for my sister. She's a nurse in upstate New York. She sent me some Bills fabric. She's a great big Bills fan. And I used Butterick 5301, 5301 for the scrub top. The top is described as a V-neck scrub top, which features comfortable t-shirt ease shirt sleeves and styled pockets. The specialty fitted sleeves allow for more arm movement for a full figured woman. I was a little nervous about that when I read full figured, but I went by her measurements and um, I cut an extra small. The top turned out really great. I love the pockets. The pockets have this uh, slanted detailing in the front. Um, the, I can tell you that this V neckline, this neckband is a bear to install. And I read that on the pattern review channel also. So you kind of have to like figure it out for yourself and make it work the best way you can. And I think that I did. The fabric is a little on the stiff side. I'm hoping that it, uh, softens up for her as she does uh, future washings. It has side slits. It really is very comfortable and I hope she likes so it. So with the leftover fabric, I made her a bucket hat. So I styled the top with the bucket hat. She's such a great big uh, Buffalo Bills fan. So I'm hoping that she really enjoys the hat at one of the games. The hat pattern was a free pattern from the Essentials Club, and I'll have that listed below in the description The only box. difference was I did use a little bit of interfacing, and I made, I used the tutorial for the reversible hat, but I wanted it to have just a little bit more body uh, than this fabric on this shirt, even though it's a little bit on the stiff side. So I added some interfacing on the brim as well as on the band and on the crown of the hat. Adding the interfacing to the hat allows the brim to be turned up in really fun ways. And in one of the shots, it kind of even looks almost like a fedora. I really hope she enjoys it. My next make for the month of November was Simplicity 8981. Simplicity 8981. I used the sleeves of A, but the length of view B. Simplicity 8981 is an easy to sew pattern. I used the red Ponte that I picked up on my sewcation earlier this year. I really love the look, the ease and the look of this dress. It is a very simple design and uh, because the front is uh, so simple and plain, it really allows you to highlight beautiful jewelry. So um, I'll pop in some pictures here of the look that I wore for the Christmas concert. I really had a big, bold statement necklace, and I think the dress highlighted it real well. The dress has a front seam and a back seam. Um, I think next time if I make the dress, I will omit the front seam. I did like using the sleeve detail of view A, which is, has that little bit of, um, I don't know what it is. You turn it up a little bit and you have a little bit of a seaming detail there. So it gives a more, a, a plain, simple dress, a little bit more of a detail. You need that sash unless you like the look of, um, uh, of a more relaxed look on a dress like this. But the sash really helps cinch in and give you a waist, which uh, adds for more shaping. I also love the side pockets on this dress. The back calls for a button and loop. I used a button that I picked up some buttons, uh, sparkly buttons from Walmart, made the loop, and I think it turned out pretty good. Oh, and next I am working on this little girl's dress. This is um, fabric that I had and I used it to make a muslin, I guess, of the scrub top for my sister. 
um, and I didn't like it. I didn't like the way it looked. Maybe it's because of the, 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 the fabric had a lot too much drape to it. But anyways, this is the little dress that I'm working on for Dress a Girl Around the World. You may know that I promised myself I was going to make a dress a month for the next 12 months for Dress a Girl Around the World. So that's gonna be the next dress under the sewing machine. Hey, I picked up this Vogue Fabrics Winter Catalog. I had never heard of them before. I'm not sure even how I found out about them, but uh, I picked up this uh, catalog. It is a subscription. It's really cool. I like that they send you also swatches. With the catalog, you get a set of swatches of the fabric that they are featuring in the magazine. I thought it'd be cool to um, get a better idea of how to work with fabric as well as get some ideas for coordinating pieces, coordinating the fabric, and just inspiration for possible uh, outfits for the coming year. I was on the D-Stash page again. I didn't do too badly, it was only four. But I picked up this one so to give my, me a little bit more variety in making the little girls' dresses uh, monthly. So this is Butterick 5876. I thought that was so sweet, so adorable. It, it does fit the qualifications that Dress a Girl wants, which is that it's made from some pretty sturdy fabric, that it has pockets, and that it has no closures. I just thought that that was adorable. You can see that there are pockets. I love the high-low uh, hemline also, but really the one in the picture with the little bow is just too sweet. And next I picked up New Look 6282, very simple, a long duster type vest, a vest and the jacket, it looks pretty easy. They have it down as a three hour sew. New Look 6803 is a dress and tunic tops. I love the neckline feature on this one, very simple and looks really great. I think it'll be really great in a nice cotton print. And finally, McCall's 9347. It's a two hour dress, simple long dress. I think these patterns were like a dollar. <laughs> that was part of my, uh, part of the enticement of getting them. So I up ended up upgrading my serger. You may remember I took it in for service. Uh, I had a brother 1034D worked perfectly and I've had it for four years, but I did upgrade to the Juki 2000. It's called the Juki 2000. It has air threading. Oh my gosh, I really do feel like I am driving a Lexus with this one. I mean, the other one was like a race car for me, but this one is truly a luxury car. That feature of being able to air thread this machine. Also, I like the fact that you can thread it in really there's no steps to threading it it doesn't matter what side you start with first uh, as long as you get the air threading going in there first uh, also i get free lessons uh, because of the purchase of this machine i have to tell you though um, on the brother the the lever to lift up the presser foot was on the right side and here it's on the left side so i i really have to get used to that and i really did like that feature that you could hold the fabric with your left hand and lift and lower the presser foot with your right hand so i do miss that and uh, the brother had a uh, a free arm uh, feature there and this does not well then there's life well, you know, the holiday came and, and uh, went. My husband and I did not cook dinner. My husband and I ended up going to a local restaurant where we had the most wonderful Thanksgiving dinner. Uh, we've got, we got so much food for the price. We were able to even bring home doggy bags for the next day. So we did have dinner leftovers and I really loved it that I did not have to cook and I didn't have to clean up. So that was awesome. Um, I, a lot, y'all know that I'm intermittent fasting and I did work out that day and like normal, I, um, drank water and I fasted as normal, but when it was time to eat, I ate, I, I did not, um, I made choices 
that I normally wouldn't make, but this was a holiday season and I was going to enjoy it with my husband. So I had pie and, you know, I had dinner rolls and those types of things. So a little bit more carbs than usual, I guess is what I'm trying to say. And, you know, some sugar there too. And I didn't do too badly the next day. I didn't feel too badly because I drank a lot of water uh, through it all and I also did uh, the next day and, um, and fasted just a little bit longer. But, um, and there were a couple few cookies hanging around the house uh, the next couple of days. So I've been really careful. I'm back, uh, you know, 20, 22 hours. I think, you know, it's, it's actually going to be more like 24 hours today because I, I haven't ha had anything to eat yet. I've been doing really good drinking, but I've been very, very busy today. And uh, so I haven't been able to even think about food. So when I'm done here, I'm going to break my fast with something yummy. Hey, if you like these types of videos, you're going to love this one here. Click on that one and I'll meet you there.